natural gas is an extremely flammable clean fossil energy, the main component is methane. Compared with traditional fossil energy such as coal and crude oil, natural gas has the advantages of more reserves, lower carbon emissions and relatively lower difficulty in extraction. Although natural gas is not as environmentally friendly as solar and wind power, we still need to rely on natural gas when there is no sun and no wind. It is expected that in the short and medium term, human beings are not able to get rid of their dependence on fossil energy and can only choose relatively clean fossil energy for proper use. Therefore, natural gas, a relatively excellent fossil energy, has a strong market demand, but traditional pipeline supply limits the reach from origin to terminal. At this time, the introduction of liquefied natural gas, LNG, has solved this problem very well. How much does China need LNG? What does LNG mean for sustainability? As a material that is extremely difficult to store, how does it achieve global travel? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age. Before we started today's video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Ok, let's get started. 1. How much does China need LNG? In 2021, China replaced Japan as the world's largest LNG importer with an import volume of 79.3 million tons for the first time. Compared with its import volume of 68.9 million tons in 2020, there was a 15% increase in 2021. In 2021, the global economic recovery drove the demand for natural gas to rise. The relationship between LNG supply and demand will become tighter, and its spot price has reached a record high and remain above the long-term contract price. According to Japan Korea Marker, the arrival price in Northeast Asia surged from a low of $5.563 per million British thermal units in March 2021 to $56.326 per million British thermal units in October of the same year. At the same time, the constant is global warming, the energy crisis and the challenges of environmental protection. When you see all this clearly, you will understand that the right path in the world is sustainable. What does LNG mean for sustainability? Whether it's increasing investment in energy efficiency, hydropower and other renewable energy sources, or introducing stricter regulations on carbon emissions from international trade, countries and international organizations are already taking action. Although advocating the transformation from fossil energy to completely clean energy is unstoppable, Many countries do not yet have the technology and infrastructure for complete transformation. From this point of view, LNG, which is relatively easy to mine, clean and flexible, will play an important role in the world's energy transition. The supporting industries have integrated the requirements of low carbon emissions into the early stage of project design and construction, which brings us one step closer to the low carbon or even zero carbon goal. LNG appears to give energy-strapped countries more options. However, despite the large market demand for LNG, the turbulent international situation has always had a pivotal impact on the distribution and trend of energy. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine has put more pressure on the already complicated energy landscape. Many oil and gas companies such as BP, Shell, Statoil and ExxonMobil have announced their withdrawal from all investments and joint ventures in Russia. Many European countries have also indicated that they will reduce natural gas imports from Russia and seek other sources of supply. International sanctions have made many projects such as liquefaction plants, transport ships, and terminals under construction to encounter heavy resistance. This is undoubtedly difficult for the world's energy transition process. The changes in the international situation and the choice of trade policies may be far away from us, but this does not mean that the good wishes of energy conservation and emission reduction are also out of reach for ordinary people. Taking China as an example, the population accounts for 20% of the world's population and the reserves of oil, natural gas and coal account for 2.1%, 
1% and 11% of the world's energy, respectively. The per capita share of these three fossil energy sources in China is only 11.1%, 4.3% and 54% of the world average. It is not difficult to see that China's energy endowment is not excellent and largely depends on imports. It is not so much that LNG affects the world energy pattern, but that energy, policy and the environment interact with each other. Which is more important, where should we go, and what should we do besides wait and see? How does LNG enable global travel? LNG is to pre-treat the mined natural gas and then cool it to about minus 162 degrees centigrade to change it from gas to liquid, and at the same time, the volume is also reduced to about 1 600 of the original volume. The liquefied natural gas can then be transported to natural gas terminals around the world by trucks and ships loaded with special storage tanks. It is then converted into gas at the receiving station and delivered to end-use units via local pipelines. The optimization and convenience of transportation methods make the trade attributes of LNG more distinct. In the past two years, the global energy crisis, the epidemic, inflation, shipping tension and many other factors have jointly witnessed the ups and downs of LNG supply and demand and price changes. The LNG industry chain can be briefly summarized as exploration, production and pretreatment, liquefaction, transportation, receiving storage and regasification, and shipping to end markets. The key links in this industry chain are liquefaction plants, transport ships, and terminals. Possessing liquefaction capacity is one of the necessary conditions to be able to export LNG. As an important transportation tool for carrying LNG to start the global trade journey, LNG carrier has a very high technical threshold. Unlike ordinary cargo ships, LNG carriers need to have a robust maintenance system that can keep LNG in a liquid state of minus 160 degrees centigrade and minimize its evaporation rate. Therefore, LNG carriers have the reputation of super-refrigerated vehicles at sea. In recent years, with the development of science and technology and the growth of market demand, the number, capacity and maintenance system technology of LNG carriers have been significantly improved. As of April 2022, there are 641 LNG carriers in operation worldwide, 216 under construction, 21 of which are icebreakers that can be used to cross the Arctic region. The average delivery time of the carrier is 30 to 50 months, and the price is also linked to its system and other technical parameters. As demand for bookings grows, lead times may be longer and prices climb. For example, the price of a conventional 174,000 cubic meter two-stroke carrier once rose from $180 million to $230 million. It can be seen that LNG carriers are not only technology-intensive, but also capital-intensive, and it is no exaggeration to describe it as Hermes in the shipping industry. The series of technical, structural, Safety and financial challenges faced by building LNG carriers is bound to be prohibitive for most shipyards. There are only a handful of shipyards in the world with the above capabilities, mainly South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries, Samsung Heavy Industries and China's Hadong Zhonghua. Before LNG is shipped to the terminal, it needs to undergo regasification, a process that requires raising it to above zero degrees centigrade. The natural gas restored to the gaseous state will be metered, odorized, natural gas is colorless, odorless and extremely flammable, and the odor is increased by adding tetrahydrothiophene, which is convenient for detecting gas leakage, and then enters the transportation system after analysis. At this point, natural gas has completed the long journey from the origin to the terminal. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. See you.